You are here, maybe not so much for yourself, but what you bring by accepting the fact that you're a nominee is you bring recognition to every single country woman who does what you do in the communities, for your family, for your church, and for your community. And you bring that recognition to each one of them as you accept your recognition today. I think our success is having all of you involved in production agriculture because it's your contribution. It's what you lend to society, to the community, and to your family that has also does also very well. Thank you very much. You are all truly winners when we look at country women of the year. Thank you. It is always an honor for me to recognize North Dakotans who accept, and to do this today in agriculture is no exception. Bonnie Fedick, Bonnie Hendricks, Cody Cup, Kareem Melberg, Lynette Thompson, and Arlene Wolf. You are, by definition, outstanding leaders in agriculture. You are also leaders by your actions in your homes, businesses, and communities. You have juggled the demands of farm and ranch life alongside family and community commitments admirably in the past, and there is no doubt that you will continue to do that great tradition well into the future. Agriculture in North Dakota would not be what it is today without the work of our state's women to grow food for families throughout the world. From the earliest pioneers to the farmers of today, women have played an essential part in farm and ranch operations. Our state's thriving agriculture sector owes much of its strength to the hard work and dedication of women. Today we have the chance to honor the women who put food on our tables. Farm and Ranch Guide has selected six outstanding women to contend to be the 2011 Country Women of the Year. These women exemplify the exceptional qualities of North Dakota farmers and ranchers. Congratulations to all the nominees. Sincerely, Kate Conrad, United States Senator. These are each truly remarkable individuals who define the word partner. It's been said that behind every good man is a good woman, but I believe after reading your accomplishments that it would be far more appropriate to say that alongside every good man is an even better woman. <laughs> and we're all proof of that. Again, congratulations to each of you and your families. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this event today. Country women have always been a part of my life, obviously growing up on a farm. Uh, this is a very near and dear uh, honor to be a part of this uh, event and appreciate all of you and I know there's many other honorees that uh, aren't necessarily uh, nominated but uh, we thank you for all of your hard work and uh, good luck and enjoy the rest of the summer. Here's a quick summary of how this process, process works. Over the past year, Farm and Ranch Guide readers nominated their favorite candidate for Country Women of the Year. The entries were then reviewed and each judge submitted their top eight entries. The candidates were then narrowed down to six final six. The quality of candidates was very high as usual. The judges then met and interviewed each finalist beginning yesterday afternoon and finished this morning. We now have their final choice. Congratulations to all the nominees that were submitted. The judges supported us, like I said, it was a very difficult uh, job. Would one of the judges like to say a few words? I just want to say that it's, um, it's a difficult task to be a judge and um, these ladies are just remarkable and spectacular and they all truly are winners and it's very hard to have to decide on one of them and it was very close, just know that and we think the world of all of you and it was such a joy to spend time and get to know all of you and learn more about their operations and hats off to you. The 2011 Country Women of the Year will receive a New Holland Z turn mill from Northern Region New Holland dealers. Cody, thank you. It's right over here. It's dandy. And the winner will drive it out of here. <laughs> and we have a vacation package for two to Medora from Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation, thanks to them. And we also have a Terry Redden print from Farm Credit Services. Each of the six finalists will receive $100 in cash plate dairy products and the $75 in beef certificates from the North Dakota Beef Commission. And the 2011 Farm and Ranch Guide Country Woman of the Year is Lynette Thompson.
it keeps encouraging me to hang in there. We can keep doing this, <laughs> but I get discouraged sometimes. And and just all the local people that showed up for me today, and I just appreciate it all. By the way, I don't know if I should have a pink lawnmower because Kevin will probably never learn to mow the lawn. <laughs>